Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Jamie, founder of quickmail.com. Almost did I owe. <laughs> there you go. Hey, it's uh, Jack, chief lead generation officer at salesbread.com. Today, we got a fun one. Oh, yeah. It's almost like a water yeah. cooler, but it's not quite. What are you going to do? Yeah, we're we're, we're going to indulge ourselves and uh, revisit some of Jeremy and I's favorite podcast episodes of the year as we kind of wrap up 2023 yeah i got three you got three right i got three i and wonder how much we're gonna have how one. many yeah how Just many one. is going to be you think one i'm sure of it i am <laughs> what should we what should we wager uh gosh i don't know oh, uh, one of us gets to write the other intro for somebody uh for <laughs> the next episode that'd be funny okay cool i'm down yeah You're, so we're gonna if have i have to do shared. yours that's gonna be quick man <laughs> i'm not sure you want that's that right. well speaking of uh intros since this is water cooler um episode there, there's stuff to be learned like what we're gonna do sure. is what are we gonna do jeremy revisit our favorites and then maybe um, is there going to be anything actionable here? Maybe, maybe, maybe it'll be a reminder to check out um, the gems of the of the podcast year in review, right? Yeah. Plus, if you miss them, uh, we'll just basically summarizing them, and maybe there's a couple more things that we want to say and add that we didn't All have right. time to put in this episode, in the previous okay. episodes. Uh, anyway, good. So in that case, uh, let's do a super short um, little sponsorship because our sponsors are going to drop us if we don't. Uh, salesbread.com if you want to lead a day check it out <laughs> should i do more um no i think it's cool i'm <laughs> i'm wondering how can i do as short as you um quickmail.com best call outreach platform for scalability and reliability so if you don't want your business to go down check out quickmail.com we have an awesome you know support <laughs> i'm kidding <laughs> let's, let's go ahead let's roll but check it out anyway all right. Um, so here's the thing. Do you want to put 10 minutes so the rambling is is uh, controlled? Yes, we will. we'll have to. Might as well. Might as well. Okay, Jeremy. I'm going to go so... in chronological order, which Ooh. means okay. our shared one is going to be my last. I I just know. I'm so confident. What? Um, Are we doing any right. other way around? So it's the, 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 the oldest Starting... one or the... Yeah, yeah, the oldest one to newest one. Is okay, that okay, weird? cool. Yeah, yeah, oldest one. How far do you go back? Uh, I'm going all the way back January of this year, episode 290. 290. Call me old fashioned, but tear down building a hot list of prospects in 10 minutes had to have been one of my favorite conversations with you because I get to uh, flex the list building muscles. And we did a, for the first time, I remember it, I, yeah. D dare I say the last time, why are we not doing this more? Um, we did sort of a growth chat style episode where we picked a company. Uh, it was an HR, uh, I believe it was selling an HR tool. Um, and we kind of used information on their current client testimonials on their website and a few other um, sales, uh, let's say nuggets that we grabbed from the internet. And we built what I would consider a, a pretty um, advanced list or, or th that was two or three layers deeper than a common, ah, just fine HR managers. It was a lot of fun. I loved it. I remember at the beginning, I was blown away by the concept. Like, what do you mean a prospecting tear down, right? And then so like, well, I didn't quite get it. But as, you know, as the episode unfolded, I'm like, oh man, there's lots of value into this one. So yeah, check it out. Um, 290. Number 290. What was That's the right. title? Do you remember the title? Building a hot list of prospects in 10 minutes. And uh, before going further, we, we got to do one of these uh, next year, Jeremy. Will, will you? I agree. I agree. Yeah. Did we, didn't we had a sort of, uh, did we still had a trusty timer at that time? That's oh. so funny you say that. It feels like we did. Man. Anyway. What do you got? Uh, what do you got? Yeah, I got... Um, I got an episode that was actually, <laughs> bless you, Jack. I got an episode that was actually earlier than January. So I'm pissed off. Ah. So I couldn't actually uh, do it. So anyway, hopefully, but I want to do a similar one next year. So okay. uh, I, I'm going to keep the surprise here. Anyway, uh, my one is 307. So we are, we are earning 
we are gaining 17 weeks from your episodes. I think it was around April and it's called designing HR called email campaign from scratch. Now, what I really wow. liked about this episode, you, you must like HR because every time we take some example, it's HR. I don't know what's going on here, Jack, but if you're in the HR business, contact Jack. He's the <laughs> best one. <laughs> Funny to say is. that, I I guess, yeah. What uh, was really fun ahead. and I really liked about this episode is that we were really like going after like creating a list. So again, creating lists, which is, you know, what you're really yeah. expert at. And, but it was like looking at one website. And so from this website, we were like trying to build the call email campaign. And I really like that. It was like, really like, okay, well, let's do it for concrete, you know, with something concrete. It wasn't like up in the air. We just picked, I think it was mm. higher or whatever the, the website was. And then we right. just went through it. And I thought that was like really, really cool. I'm so, it, it was like a teardown, but the full scope of, of cold email, like mm -hmm. it showed list building and writing and, and the yeah. whole picture. And what's yeah, kind of fun about those. testimonials and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's, it's. It's interesting you chose that, Jeremy, because um, I'll be honest, the one I found that I had to replace was a 10 minute campaign just like that one. But I couldn't find one that fit the right uh, timing criteria that we had. So um, maybe there's more of these style episodes in our future. Just because, look, I I have a lot of fun with these episodes because it, it it's very empowering to watch a campaign get birthed, if you will, because you don't need a six-figure marketing budget. You don't need a, a whole team of SEO Mindset. people tapping away. There you go. It's very attainable. Um, and when you see it kind of come together, um, I, I think it's just healthy to remember like, okay, yeah, you can make a, a great campaign and maybe this week, maybe this afternoon, if, if you just put it together and, and you can, I don't know. Yeah, 100%. So it choice. was 307 design HR called email campaign from scratch. Love it. What's your next All one, right, Jack? Jeremy. Next. Let's go Me. up to 317. <laughs> Got it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Look at that. How to blow prospects' mind with next level personalization. Yeah, that's mine too. And okay. So here's the before and after. Um, before we recorded this episode, I think. I do when remember we you recorded it. I was like, I, I'm not sure, Jeremy. It's helpful this is a anyone. dumb idea. Just shoot it down. But <laughs> between you and me, I'm just going to tell you what happened to me this weekend and why my brain immediately went to cold outreach. And and that was awesome. Is this funny? Such a and great so, episode. Okay. It, and it was probably the hardest I've laughed on an episode, um, or second hardest I've laughed. So if you are kind of new to the cast or you haven't. Listen to 317, how to blow prospects mind next level personalization. It's a funny story. And weirdly, this is the weird part and the afterwards. Um, I, judging by the comments and emails, people appreciated the actual tangible sales application of it, which I, I borderline didn't see it when I you know presented it to Jeremy. So uh, <laughs> listeners, thank it. you for playing along. Yeah, thanks, Jeremy. Cool. It was such a great episode. I also, yeah, I mean, we we gravitated around like, you know, using PS, you know, instead of just always the intro line and stuff like that. And I think it really, really great, um, great story. Uh, and uh, yeah, just uh, come level. on a ride with us with this episode. It's a good one. Yeah, awesome. Well, I, I'll, I'll tell you what, we might have two episodes that we share. So because oh, I'm thinking... I don't think so because you went really? to 317 and my one is earlier and that was my third Whoa. one. Whoa. All right, all right. Then then right. go, Jeremy, because uh, I, I want to hear what your, your third one is. All right. So my one is episode 311, which was only six episodes before. Whoa. And it's like, why are we all wrong about open rates? And the reason why I really like this one is because it's counterintuitive. It's not like what people are expecting. And um, and we went ahead and implemented that into quick mail. And now this is one of my best metrics ever that I'm looking at to actually take decision. We actually had to stop one campaign thanks to this metric. Um, so that was wow. really, really... Um, well, wow. the idea is basically you apply... The open rate to when is being sent, not when is being received and triggered. 
And so that gives you That's like right. a proper view as to deliverability as a whole. Yeah, it it would be like, um, what was the metaphor we used? Something like, um, instead of, if you wanted to find where the worst drivers are, the, ro- the worst road trip drivers are in the country, you wouldn't just look at where the accidents are happening in which cities, you would say where those drivers left from. So if most of them left from New York and they crashed all over, you could trace it back to that problem. Yeah, bloody area. New York right. drivers, absolutely. <laughs> I agree with that. All right. Um, that was yeah, an important one. cast. And frankly, if I had a top five, I, I would absolutely <laughs> throw it down. But watch, but this is the 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 episode that like changed what I do the most or changed the way I think about cold email the most this year. Episode 320, millions of cold email stats reveal worst days to send. Oh, Holy yeah. Holy cow. One. Are you what? kidding me? The Are funny thing is like, it's a complete, it's a direct consequence of the cast I was just mentioning. So it's right. an interesting one. Uh, so here, here's the idea. And if you haven't listened to it, pause this shenanigans and go straight to 320 or even what was yours? 311? You could, you could do 311 in order to figure out what it is. And it only took us like nine, like nine weeks in order to start figuring out the data. So that was pretty awesome. So 311, why we all wrong about open rates and 320 yeah. were, well, here are the results. And and I'll give you the teaser. Is it better to send cold emails on a Sunday or on a Thursday? And if you have a listen to the episode, you're probably thinking the wrong day. Wh- what I'm about Friday? You, oh, <laughs> even worse, even worse. So seriously, if if you are in business sending cold email, you have to, like, you're crazy not to, it's, it's, it's use it to your advantage. I mean, frankly, if you don't know this, you're going to have a tougher time getting results uh, compared to someone who does. That was wonderful. And, and thanks for those stats, Jeremy. Yeah, of course. And I think, uh, you know, we, we are going to share more and more stats. I like as well when we shared about reason why people don't subscribe, which was pretty fun too. That was another so one. That, yeah. we're going to have more and more of that um, happening. So. Stay tuned. Okay. Well, let's see here. In a general pulse on the year. Um, no, oh. let's, let's hold back. No, no, yeah. no, no, no. It is a good one. What's your one word for this this year? Because I got one. Wow, Jeremy. Can I think on this a moment? One word <laughs> for the... The trusty timer year. is gone. You got all the time you need. <laughs> okay. You seem like you, you got the answer over there. I got you know mine. Something we it don't. doesn't have to be yours. It's a different one, I'm right. presuming, because it's also linked to my experience about this year. Wow. Wow. Oof. Oh, my goodness. Okay, I guess I guess I know the word to use, but... Is it, uh, as... is it safe for kids to listen to this well? <laughs> it's safe. <laughs> Are you going to roll your eyes if I say... What is it? Prospecting, personalization, data. data, data. Oh, that's nice. Data is a good one. It's data. Yeah, I resonate I, I with think, that. Yeah, I, I think those who have the best and and most of it have a better time um, doing cold outreach. That's that's my word. What do you got, Jeremy? No, I think uh, you you kind of spot on. For me, it was like a bit of a more of a general thing, which is challenging. And it's challenging from every aspect. Um, you know, we got the auto warmer getting like, you know, ostracized wow. by by Google. And I think you're absolutely right. The data are going to be really huge. And that's why we're investing so much on QuickMail to get better data, because I think that's really going to be the key. You know, a few years ago, we were, you know, we were keeping on talking about like, hey, Omnichannel is going to come, Omnichannel is going to be important and so on. And yet hey, here we are. Right with omni-channel, but I think now the next thing is effectively like actionable, real data and uh, insights. You know, so good one. Yeah, both on both on what's going on and still on how do you know how to prioritize who gets your list right now, um, and also you, you need data on like really understanding what's the right entry point into this conversation from a copywriting perspective. You know, a lot of a lot yeah, of and, companies, and, you know, yeah. And, and I'm also thinking like, because now you can't really play so much the volume game anymore. 
you're going to have to re rely on benchmark and you know the data that we can aggregate for everyone because now you, yeah. you can't really build your own one anymore or not that that, that easily anymore there you go even there for we go. have That's people good. sending forty thousand emails a day this is difficult to sustain and maintain so anyway but here's the fun part is there's more ahead still, even as we head into 24. Um, and it's fun to see the, the, the cold email game evolve, you know, that's. Oh yeah. Challenge is just... good. I embrace challenges. I think it's fun, that's right. but gosh, it's that's not right. boring. <laughs> that's a that's hundred percent. And uh, ditto for the, for the podcast, Jeremy, it is absolutely not boring uh, from this, this guy's side of the table. So uh, Same here. Let, let's keep it going. Thank you for, for all the goods over the years. Thanks, Jack. Amazing. Yeah. You know, jamming with you every week is awesome. It's a highlight. All right. And with that, my friend, we'll sign off and catch you next time. There you go. Bye, Jack. <laughs>